White Buffalo is one of the mines we found just a few years ago, uh, crossing the valley, moving a dozer from one mine to another. Sure enough, a few years ago, I crossed uh, a couple pretty good little chunks of White Buffalo. Spent a little while tracing it up into the mountains and found out where it was coming out. So over a period of time, we, we made our way up in there and mine it like any other mine now. It's really hard to get to. We're probably two hours from the nearest hospital, nearest town. Ultimately, there's uh, some really steep areas where we're gonna have to get the trucks, you know, chained together and pull them up there with a lot of buckets and carry some weight out of here. And it's gonna be difficult and we'll figure it out. We always do. This pit right here is, is pretty much the production of the white buffalo stone that we have on Shop LC. And uh, you can see the veins, the white veins that come down about a 45 degree angle. This little banding, the stripe of white banding here, has produced about 5,000 pounds of uh, white buffalo. So 5,000 pounds, uh, we're still talking only the top 5% is gem quality stuff. Here, the stuff that's flaking off, that black, yeah, that would be no good. So none of this would be good. But this chunk of white that's going through the center here, I can tell how heavy it is, that it's pretty solid white. So this is a, this is a good usable piece. It's not uncommon for us to have to move 10 or 20 tons of dirt just to get, you know, a pound of the highest grade material. Well, we're gonna deliver. Good guys, our ride is here. So we just got back from the mine. We're gonna go get the buckets and get out of the truck and we'll go through and pick the uh, kind of grade, the high grade, and then we'll, we'll put it on the, the, the diamond saw here and we'll try and saw that vein out. We'll, basically, we'll see how the weekend went. There we go. Makes the mining worth it.